Interest rates are finally coming down and maybe you're ready to jump back into the housing market. You've been doing your research and you found Solano County because your dollar is gonna stretch so much further here than any other county in the Bay. But where do you start? What cities do you consider? Today, I'm gonna break down Solano County based on price point, commute times, weather, schools, accessibility to amenities, and even views. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have a great feel for what cities might be right for you. Let's get started. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erica Monroe, I'm a realtor in the Bay Area and I specialize in Solano County. Let's dive right into pricing. I know that typically dictates where you're able to purchase, but Solano County is quite unique in that every city has a wide range of price points and homes to offer. So you're likely to find a home and criteria that meet your needs. In the starting range, let's say 500 to 600,000, a majority of the inventory is gonna be consolidated in Vallejo and Fairfield. You'll see a sprinkling in Sassoon, Vacaville, and Rio Vista as well. Unfortunately, nothing comes up in this price range in Venetia, unless maybe you're looking at a condo or townhouse. I do wanna caution you for Vacaville and Rio Vista. A lot of that inventory is actually allocated for 55 plus communities and they're not always labeled or advertised very clearly. I've had a lot of clients get really excited because the pricing is incredible or the home looks turnkey, but it is an age restricted community. So just something to keep your eye on. So in this price point all across Solano County, you're probably going to be looking at a single story or ranch style home, often with three bedrooms, one to two bathrooms, generally between 1,000 and 1,400 square feet. You may be able to push up closer towards 2,000 square feet if you're pushing the budget at 600,000. Now, most of these houses were built between the 1950s and the 1970s. And I know that sounds like a very old home. It may give you some pause, but definitely don't write it off. In my experience, the craftsmanship has been impeccable. They've been well-loved, well-kept, and updated homes. Obviously, each home is unique, so do your due diligence and have all the inspections done, but I would say don't write it off just because of the age. This price point also yields the most amount of flipped homes, so that means an investor or developer comes through with the intention of renovating a home quickly and putting it back on the market for resale. This is important because if you are an FHA buyer, a buyer using a federally backed loan, you cannot purchase one of these houses unless the seller has held the home for at least 90 days. They have to have owned the house for at least 90 days. FHA guidelines have some protection in place and they do that as a safety net because they want to ensure that the craftsmanship is done well. They want to believe that the seller has spent the right amount of time to actually renovate the property thoroughly. So if you see a brand new listing come to market, have your agent double check how long has the seller owned the property because you want to ensure that you would actually be eligible to purchase it. Moving on to the next price range, 600 to 750,000. This will open the door to basically any city in Solano County. Now looking at Vallejo, Fairfield and Vacaville, where a majority of the inventory is concentrated, I pulled the median and average stats for what kind of house each city can offer you. And surprisingly, all of them had almost identical offerings. So you can get a four bedroom, three bath, about 2,000 square foot house on a 6,000 square foot lot. You're gonna have both resale homes and new construction opportunities to choose from. My clients who have purchased resale homes in this price range have been able to get into several neighborhoods in Cordelia. They've been able to sell and purchase homes in the Gold Ridge neighborhood, which is further east in Fairfield. For new construction, they've purchased in One Lake, Splash Community by TriPoint has an entry-level home right in this price range, and it'll yield you about a 2,300 square foot home. DR Horton, located near Paradise Valley, also has a large range of expansive homes that are well below this price point. Vacaville and Dixon have lots of new construction and resale opportunities as well. So depending on what you're looking for, you're gonna have a wide selection in this price range. 
The next price range, 750 to 900,000, is gonna yield you a very expansive home in Solano County. Now, Benicia is probably our most expensive city, and this price range will likely yield you three to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, about 1,800 to maybe 2,200 square feet. However, in the rest of Solano County, like I said, your dollar stretches so much further here. I mean, imagine what you can buy in San Francisco or Oakland for 900,000. Whatever that is can probably fit inside the house that you're gonna purchase in Solano County. So the sky's the limit. This price range will also get you into the new construction development in Vallejo, Cascade at Waterstone, located right on the border of Benicia. Those homes generally start in the mid 800,000s and they do go north of a million, but you can definitely start getting your foot in the door there. Considering commute times is really important if you're thinking about moving to Solano County. So if you're commuting on a daily basis to San Francisco, the East Bay, even further south, then considering cities such as Vallejo, Benicia, parts of Fairfield, Cordelia, and Green Valley all have great access to freeways. You can access I-80 and 680, so it gives you multiple options to get to your destination. Vallejo also has a ferry, which drops you into Embarcadero. It's a one hour stress-free ride. So if you work in the financial district or you have the ability to hop onto BART or the Metro to get you to your destination, then that would be a great option for you. If you have to commute to Napa, then Vallejo, Cordelia, and Green Valley also have easy access to freeways that'll get you there in the shortest amount of time possible from Solano. If you head further east into Sacramento on a daily basis, then considering a home in the east side of Fairfield, Vacaville or Dixon is probably gonna yield you the most comfortable commute. Let's talk about schools, as obviously this is such an important factor in why so many folks decide to move where they move to. As a realtor, I am unfortunately so limited in what I can say about schools. I can share some incredible resources that have their own set of guidelines and rankings, and I can share those results, but I personally cannot dictate or decipher what a good school district is versus a bad school district because everybody's gonna have their own set of criteria and needs. So greatschools.org and niche.com have been incredible resources that I am able to share and I definitely encourage you to look at. And if their criteria matches what you're looking for, they often base it on test scores, inclusivity, you can read actual reviews from parents and students that attend these schools and districts. So I think there's a plethora of really wonderful information. I can share, for example, this is niche.com's website. You can see some high rank schools in Benicia, in Fairfield, Vacaville. They're really widespread all across Solano County. So find what makes sense for your family and then relay the information to your realtor and they can create a home search based on that district or a specific school. Let's talk about weather. I think Solano County has some of the best weather in the Bay Area. I know I'm biased, but I guarantee there's something that'll fit your needs or taste. If you're looking to stay a little bit cooler in the summer, but not nearly as cold as San Francisco, then Vallejo and Benicia may be great options for you. The bay really helps to moderate temperatures. So on average, we stay anywhere from 10 to 12 degrees cooler in the summertime than our neighboring cities to the east. You've always got a nice breeze coming through as well. And the bay again moderates how cold we get in the winter. On average, most of Solano County is pretty comparable in winter time. If you don't mind the heat, if you don't mind 90 plus, even 100 degrees, then Sassoon, Fairfield, Vacaville, Dixon are gonna be great options for you. It's generally a drier heat. The nice thing is we always have air movement. For some folks, it's too much. It has a tendency to get windy in the summer in Fairfield. Sassoon and Vacaville, we've got the Delta breeze coming through. But again, that air movement definitely helps when we're reaching those peak temperatures. 
Let's talk about views. Who doesn't love a great view? And oh my gosh, does Solano County have so much to offer? If you love water views, then focusing on areas of Vallejo, such as Glen Cove, Mare Island, Vallejo Heights, just to name a few neighborhoods that have stunning sunsets and views. Benicia, of course, has beautiful views of the Carquina Strait. Sassoon also has the marina as well as the Sassoon Marsh. If you're looking for views of the rolling hills, then pretty much every city is going to deliver. If you can't see it from your home, you're probably right around the corner from it. These rolling hills are so majestic in the springtime when they're emerald green. Some neighborhoods nestled against these hills are Green Valley, Paradise Valley, Rancho Solano, all located in Fairfield, as well as the Gold Ridge neighborhood. If vineyards are your thing, we also have wine country in the Sassoon Valley. So anywhere around Sassoon or Green Valley, you may have an opportunity to see the vineyards, if not directly from your house, then very close by. And golf courses, let's not forget beautiful views of expansive courses, Blue Rock Springs and Hidden Brook located in Vallejo. In Fairfield, you have Green Valley, Paradise Valley, Rancho Solano. You definitely have an opportunity for a view of the green, if not being actually on the green. For access to amenities, Solano County really has a lot of convenient, fun things to offer, a lot of outdoor activities. For walkability, I would say Benicia and Vacaville probably have the most walkable downtowns, lots of cafes, restaurants. They also host a lot of community events. There's concerts in the park, there are art walks, there are farmer's markets. If you're looking for really accessible shopping, I would say Vacaville is probably a great option. You've got Costco, Sprouts, Nuggets, you've got all the outlet malls. As far as outdoor activities, every city has some great biking, hiking, golf courses that we've covered. Depending on what you're looking for, I can help you individually break down each city and find what is best for you. And that goes for all the criteria. This is a jumping off point. Hopefully you've narrowed down your search, but reach out to me, monroe.erica at gmail.com and I'm happy to provide you some more insights.